Hey guys, welcome to OSRS Progress video number 22, I think we're on now. Um, and I've just finished a dragon task, steel dragons, and I got a plate skirt drop. And um, I promise I don't do this on purpose, but this happens every time. My, my task now is 185 aviancies, which I can go and do the Armadale boss. And so I am going to go and do that, and I won't show you every kill. Um, like I said in the last video, I will come back if I get anything worth showing you. So with that in mind, see you in a minute. Alright guys, I'm just about to go in here and in the kill coming up, you're about to see that I do get a long bone from Criera and just there in the picture, that's how rare it is compared to a hilt. And so, um, as you can imagine, I was pretty annoyed. Alright guys, and um, I've not actually been playing RuneScape much this weekend since the last video because I've been busy in real life with certain things, but um, I'm 299 tasks in a row now, so it's a Juridel task. Just finished an Abbey Demon task, I didn't get anything sadly, but I do have a clue to do, so I'll get that done in a minute. Oh, sorry. Oh, was, that, was I lagging, was I? Yeah. I uh, would like a uh, task. Hellhound's awesome, sweet. So I'm going to do some Cerberus, I guess. If I get anything, I'll come and show you. So I thought I'd come and kill some Zora to earn a bit of money in between my um, Cerberus kills, because I haven't got anything yet, by the way, and this just happened. <laughs> yeah, um, and the Longbow too. It appears it's going to be one of those episodes where I get all like the not very good rares as opposed to the nice ones kind of thing. I, keep getting, I think it's like hints that I should be playing an Iron Man too because like all these, you notice these drops I've been getting recently would be really good if I wasn't an Iron Man. Alright guys, I'm um, taking a quick break from Cerberus because I had an elite clue to do, this might be the reward. I'm also like really close to 90 strength and 90 defense, like 1k there and 12k there kind of thing so I thought I should stop, do these clues and then get them kind of thing so with that in mind. <sighs> it's never the reward when I think it is. I'll be right back. Alright, um, there's the reward and I got a top hat. <laughs> Which, um, again, I don't think that's very good, but it is a unique, I suppose, and the clue reward is supposedly 510k, which is better than nothing. And let's have a look at that top hat, shall we? Uh, can't zoom in, really, look. Swag. Alright, and that's my hard clue reward. We are now 93 in a row. I apologise about the noise in the background. That's actually this uh, temporary like microwave oven thing I had to buy because my oven block blew up the other day. Which isn't so good, but um, I'm just going to check if that's a duplicate or not, so one second. Alright, and it's actually not a duplicate, so that's awesome. Almost completed the Guffix book now. And whilst you are here, let's bury this real quick and show you. 72 prayer. Now, that all of it, apart from that one bone there, was got from the Bone Crusher. So I've got 71 to 72, all from the Bone Crusher. So a really handy tool to have. Um, still one more free combat. I'm going to get back to Cerberus now, so I'll be back when I've got the strength and defense level. Alright, and that is uh, 90 strength and 114 combat. Again, I apologise about that noise in the background. I know it's annoying, but it will just be for this clip. And I just got another shitty smouldering stone, so good fight, my RNG. Um, from what I gather, my luck at this boss is just ridiculous. Again, it's not worth much, but it's still a rare. So, uh, where was the last one? It was 174 smouldering stone and 180 pegasian crystal. Alright, and that is 90 defense, so now all my melees are 90 plus, and in fact all my combat ones are, regard not regarding um, prayer and slayer, but everything else is now 90 plus, which is awesome. Alright guys, there is 91 attack, and when this one dies, it should be 302 tasks in a row, I believe. Come on. Yeah, there you go, and I just want to show you all real quick, right, just to show you my luck on these Abbey Demons at the moment. We are on 1,638 with just one whip, and I also done 293 Abbey sides now with just that still, just that one unsired. So that's really unlucky. Um, yeah, so I'll be back with the next interesting task. <laughs> okay, so I just I got fire giants. I thought I can't bother to do now. I skipped them and I got Abbey demons again. So yeah, <laughs> um, I have got an elite in my uh, bank to do. So I think what I might do is go and do that first. It was from the um, unsired or the side thing. So I'll do the elite and share the reward. And come back kind of thing. All right, and there's my um, elite. It's the 25th elite I've done now. And um, I mean, the overwhelming like pattern of this seems to be that hard clues are actually better than elites, at least in my experience. And when I talk to other people, it's sort of the same thing like, that they find as well. Like the elite rewards, unless you get something really awesome, they're generally like pretty crappy. So that is the reward. And now I'm back to Abbey Demons. All right, guys. So um, basically, what happened was we're 303 tasks in a row now. Um, and I got a cave cracking task and I had a hard clue and I was going to do it uh, but there was like tw 12 PKs up here or something stupid and they killed me um, but I dropped my clue before they killed me when I ran back to get it, pick it up kind of thing they were still there and they tried to kill me again and so I had to run away and come back again 
Um, by the time that happened, all my stuff was still there because I died of it, didn't I? And you get like so, um, so long to go and get it, or they left it kind of thing, but um, the clue has dis disappeared. So I lost it, so never mind. Um, on with the cave kraken. Okay, so I finished the um, Kraken task and I'm on 316 now and I have a um, Abbey Spectre task which I can't be bothered to do. So in the meantime, I thought I'd do some Barrow's Chess because um, I like to get some done every episode. So with that in mind, I'll be back at the first one. Alright, and this is the first chest. And nothing too special. Alright, chest two. Uh, nothing great again. Alright, chest number three I think we're on. Oh my god, <laughs> that's like awesome, I'm really like super happy with that, as much as it probably doesn't sound like I am, let's look, how much is that now, sweet, I thought I'd quickly say like the reason I'm talking quietly is because like everyone's asleep, but normally I'd be like oh my god, like proper like yeah, but yeah, everyone's asleep, so that's why, alright, chest number four, and I'm going to call a back to back, and I'm going to be wrong about that, all right, and chest number five. I'm going to call it there now for this trip because I just got a G-Spear and I want to go on to do some other things instead. So wait there and I'll show you the tab. Okay, and this is the Barrows tab now. So we've got three of the four Guffins pieces, which is really cool. And the value is 9.7 mil, so we're getting there. Um, yeah, so I'll be back in a minute. Oh, I was about to say here comes the farming level, a random one, but I didn't realise this tree was dead, so one second. Right, 68 farming, and we can now do palm trees, which is cool, and get double U, which is also cool. Double U's? Uh, double U roots, even. Not that I'm ever going to do that, but I can now do it, so yeah. <laughs> okay, and randomly there is a mining level with 61 now. I can now use a dragon pickaxe and inferno pickaxe, which is really cool. I um, I need to get 65 for like several of the diaries, probably 66 to be safe, actually, because I have to like, boost couple of the things, um, but I also need full prospector. No, I don't know how long that's going to take, but if you bear with me, I'll show you what I've got so far. Yeah, so I already have the prospector legs and 22 more golden nuggets, and you need, I can't remember now, um, value, value, value. So I need another 8, 68, 108 of these. So I'm going to be here quite a while. I, I probably might even... Um, get past 65 to be honest doing that but I need the full outfit for the Valley Hard Diary so and then in turn the Fremnic one and then the um the Western Province one which gives me the Crystal Halberd which is awesome for the bossing that I do and then all the uh, lamps and that can go on to this rune crafting which can then go towards Morning's End Part 2 which will then go towards the Ardy Hard Diary so that is my plan I know what I'm doing I swear <laughs> All right, and I just missed this story. There is 89 Slayer. Um, I've got a Dagonov task, but I couldn't find anyone to help me get into the Dagonov, so I'm just canning these normal ones. I might get a medium. I might get some range boots. You never know. And, um, yeah, I do have a hard clue to do for my last, uh, my spec task. So what I'm going to do is finish this task, see if I get a clue or not, and then get on with the hard ones. So with that in mind, I'll be back at the end. All right, so just finishing up my um, 94th hard treasure trail there, and that's an Armadale plate body. I believe, I think that is unique. Bear with me. We'll check the tab. It is awesome. So we've almost got. That one should be there, shouldn't it? Like that. One, two, three. No, we've got three out of six so far, but awesome. I've got a medium to do now as well, so I'll get on with that and be back with the reward. All right, and that's my hard clue done, and that is that is three god pages in one clue. So Sarah page two, three, and Guffix page three. Sadly, they're crappy ones, but still, three pages and the lobsters. That's pretty rare for a medium clue, right? That's got to be like. Range of boot rare at least, I reckon, but there you go. All right, and also that Sarah page has completed my um, Sarah book. So I've got page one, two, three, and four, all my self from clues. And the graphics page sadly did not. But yeah, so the first book I managed to complete from Clue Scrolls was a Sarah book, which probably means I should go to Sarah God Wars and get some hills, right? All right, guys, and just a quick update on Zora randomly. I thought I'm earning some money. I've got an advances task to do, actually, which is a boss task, but I thought I'd come here and some money for some black chins. I just got a magic fang. I think that's my first one, like 1,500 kills, but I am now on 4,632, and according to um, OS Buddy, this is now 1.9 mil, which is cool. I assume that's because of the update that's coming up. Um, so now that I've got that, I'm going to sell that, go get some black chins and go on to Armadale, and if I get anything, I'll be back and show you. So, yeah. Alright guys, and I didn't get anything at the um, advances task sadly, and then I had a steel dragon task, didn't get anything there worth showing. We're up to 380 tasks in a row, and now I'll do Abbey Demons. I thought I'd um, give you a quick explanation as to why 
I'm not going to do the sire. And the, the reason is, is because of the dry streak and stuff, it reminded me of um, when I did used to play RuneScape 3 in Araxor. And what happened uh, one time was I got two spider leg pieces, but the third one took me 227 kills or something it's crazy like that. It took me a long time. I remember how stressed out I was getting. And I keep worrying that if I go to the Abbey Sire and then go 180 kills dry like I currently am, right? And then get an unsired drop and then like, there's a bludgeon piece. I'm then... um. I'm screwed on. I'm committed to then finishing that that bludgeon. I'm gonna have to get two more drops, and then that's if I get the um get lucky enough to get the two bludgeon pieces after that. I might get a dagger or another jar or a whip or you know what I mean. And it, it it could just go on forever and ever kind of thing. And so with that, I don't really want to torment myself, so I'm just gonna to stick to um to the normal Abbey demons if that makes sense. Uh, and I've still only got one whip, which is what I wanted to say. And I'll show you my log in a second. I really didn't have much luck. I remember on my ever account, well not my other account, but on RuneScape 3 before it was EOC nonsense. I used to get whips quite often. Um but this one just doesn't seem to like me really. <laughs> Better pick that up and I one sec. And so <clears throat> sorry someone was walking around there. Let me check um not check, sorry, log. How many Abbey Demons are we up to now? One thousand eight hundred and fifty two and we've only got one whip and the drop rate is supposedly one in five hundred and twelve. I don't believe that. We just got a hard clue though, so that's pretty cool. I will um uh let me see, how many do we these do we have left? 112. I'm gonna do this clue now, just because I'm bored, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, and that's the reward from the clue. Not very good to be honest, but yep, some telly scrolls. I um just remembered I need to do my farming run now, so I'm gonna get on with that, and then uh, also we're closing in on my second 99, we're only 200k until 99 HP. I'm not too sure I'm going to get that this episode though because um, it's been a long time since the last one purely because it's half term and my children are off school and stuff like that and so I haven't had time to get a decent video together like I normally would um, and we're also closing in on 90 Slayer which means I've been putting off um, doing Morning Zen Part 2 for ages now because I just hate that quest but uh, I'm sort of running out of excuses and I need to go and do it soon and also um, I need it for a diary anyway and, and whatnot so I should get on with it really. But anyway, yeah, um, farming. All right, and, oh, you know what? I was about to say, all right, this is like 69 farming, but it's not because I've already checked the health of this one and that's my last tree for now. So I guess I'll get that tomorrow. Look how close I am as well, <laughs> like 300 XP to go. All right, and that's 319 tasks in a row complete. And sadly, still didn't get another whip from the Abbey Demons, but we'll stick with it because I, I guess, um, oh, what the hell? I guess the luck evens out, doesn't it, eventually, like over time, so I'll, I'll be patient and see how it goes. And then now we would like a new task, something decent, please. Sweet, so I can do some service, and I thought actually I'd better show you quickly, because um, I did a lot of tasks off camera, and I've done an awful lot of bosses. So, um, sorry about that clicking, it annoys me too. Cerberus, I'm up to 322 kills now, but I haven't had anything since my last one. Abby Sire, 293. Kraken, 403. So I've done quite a lot, actually, but why I didn't get anything, I didn't bother showing you. Um, kind of boring. But interesting, I thought you like, you might like this. I saw a Spark Mike Light. I'm not going to send this in because it isn't my account anymore. I swapped with my ex-partner ages ago um, when I went to play World of Warcraft and stuff. But I saw people sending in their account ages and stuff, and I've always said that I started on RuneScape Classic before membership was even a thing. Way back in 2001, um, System of Down Toxicity was the album at the time. You know, no one ever believed me, but I took a screenshot a minute ago, if you can see that. Um, this one is 5,096 days old. So when I see those other ones who think they're, the, you know, those arrogant people on that Spark Mac Live who think they're like, oh, we're the oldest accounts and stuff. I kind of want to send that in, but I can't because it's not my account anymore, if that makes sense. But yeah, I thought that was cool. I thought you might enjoy that. So Cerberus, I, I will. Um... Hopefully get a decent drop and come and show you so yeah All right guys, I'm just knocking still on the uh, hellhound task. I've done quite a lot of Cerberus now um, I'm getting quite close to my hit 99 which obviously is gonna give me the trimmed uh, range cape too So what I'm gonna do is um, I keep trying to finish this and go and go to normal hellhounds But I keep getting these um, key master teleport scrolls and when I get them I think well I have to go now because look It saves you running all the way back there so if that is my last one, this will be my last trip to Cerberus. I haven't got anything. And then I'm going to go and finish at normal Hellhounds, probably get a clue, and then try and get this 99 hit points as soon as possible. So, yeah. All right, uh, finished my Hellhound task now, 320 in a row, and I did get a clue to do. So I'm going to get on with that, and I will show you the reward once I've done it. So, 
yeah, back at the end. All right, that's the hard clue done. Um, 98, they're almost 100 now. No rares, but that's actually quite a good one, um, just for like money wise, I suppose. I've got Mithril Dragons now, so I'll get on with them and come back when I have uh, something worth showing. Right guys, and I've got a uh, Creator task now, like quite a lot of them actually. I've got KC manually because the key thing, I never get lucky there. Um, and we are 103k to 99 hits and 75k until 91 strength. And also 194k until 90 slayer, which isn't as important as the other two. But I do, it's getting closer and closer to mornings in part two. And I hate it so much. I think I said it before already in this video, but I'm delaying it and delaying it and delaying it. But I'm going to have to do it like any day now, so... That sucks. But anyway, if I get anything good, I'll show you. And if I don't, I won't kind of thing. So with that in mind, I'll be back soon. I actually really hate it when this drops an uncut sapphire. That's not the first time this has happened either. It's probably like the third or fourth time. It's the worst drop you can possibly get at Armadale, I think. Next to the Longbone, of course. All right, I'm up to 430kc now for uh, Aviancis. I didn't get anything, so I just finished it outside. And it's 322 tasks in a row. And now only 71k until 99 hits. So I'll be back with the next interesting... Um, Oh wait, then no, I won't. I was about to say I'll be back with the next Slayer task, but I actually have a clue to do, so I'll be back with a clue reward and then the Slayer task. All right, and I just picked up a uh, Abbey Demon task, which is pretty good. I definitely, or should hopefully, get uh, 91 strength during that, and probably half of the HP level off. And here's my clue anyway, and I think it's the reward now. Oh my god! <laughs> right, that's like shit. That's my 99 clue by the way. That's three rares and one hit though. That's um. That's unusual, isn't it? I'll go to the bank. I'm not too sure. I know the pirate has a duplicate. I'm not too sure about the skirts, though, so bear with me. Right, so that skirt's a new one. And that skirt, cool. So we've got two. Wait there. I think we might have completed the skirts. So let's have a look. What have we got? So, oh no, we haven't. We still need G and Guffix, I think. But we've got quite well, six different skirts now, which is. um. Not great. I'm never going to wear them, am I? I don't know why I'm like, yeah, that's awesome, because it's not really, is it? But it's nice to get uniques, is what my point was. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to get on with the Abbey Demons now, and um, hopefully I'll get a whip, so I'll be back once I'm finished. All right, guys, so that is 91 Strength, 115 Combat. I've only got, like, uh, 41 more of these to go, and I still haven't got another whip. It's, it's getting silly now. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to give up on Abbey Demons forever, I think. But, um, yeah, we are now only 44k until 99 hits, and probably the end of the episode, because it's getting on a bit now. So... I'll be back with something interesting to show. All right, guys, uh, that is a hundred clues. That's my hundredth one, even, and that is a unique. It's, it's crap, but it is a unique, so that's still cool. And um, I just skipped one task and run out of points to skip another. Now I've got another Abbey Demons task, <laughs> which is shit. But I'm pretty. I'm, I think it's enough to get me um, 99 hit points. So I'm gonna get on with that now and be back when I'm finished. All right, we're getting real close now. 13k to go, and I finally finally got another whip drop <laughs> it only took like 2000 abbey demons or whatever on now i haven't got a thing to check sadly so i can't actually show the official thing but that took ages all right guys i finished that task and now i'm 18 exp until 99 hits um but i thought i'd come and do my clue because i actually got a lamp um for from the genie and i thought i could use it whilst running around and doing the clue kind of thing but i thought whilst i'm here i'll get 69 farming uh, cool. Um, finish the clue and then get 99 hits and that'll be the end of the video kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, I'll be back with the clue in a minute. And you know what? I'm really happy with that. That Dark Cavalier is not... Um, that is a duplicate, but this Sara plate body isn't, so that's another one of the plate bodies out of the way. I remember back in the day, this used to be um, like way back when. Do you guys remember like Falador Park merching and stuff? Sort of just after RuneScape Classic, you stand there. And you could like sell a set of Sara for like four or five mil on purple party hats for like four mil at the time. Do you guys remember that? Good times, man. Anyway, that's my clue. And here comes. Well, actually, before I get this, I just want to say that I'm never ever going to get 99 again on any other account. I'm not. I can't be bothered to train on Dead Man mode on RuneScape Free. Um, the only, the only, the only exception maybe possibly like sometime down the line is Iron Man, but very unlikely. But if I do, then ignore what I'm about to say. But this is the last time I'll ever have an untrimmed cape. For the rest of my life, unless I play an Iron Man, which isn't very likely. Here it goes. Boom. And there we go, 99 hits. Which means I now have a trim cape. And you all know what it looks like anyway, but I get the prayer bonus for that now, which is really cool. And I have 99 hits. So, yeah, I'm going to end the video there. I'm just going to say I apologise for not getting out sooner. I had a busy week with the kids being off school and all that. Um, 
and obviously one million hit points exp takes quite a while to get so that's what i've been doing this week so that took like the whole week up kind of thing but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will catch you next time